It's a shame that Kawhi said F it and left. Did that hurt your feelings when he left? Of course, it hurt a little bit. But you're not gonna be mad about someone who tried to go back home. Did he change his number on you? You guys, you didn't tell me he's like that. <laughs> okay, it's your time. What's up, baby? This is Serge Ibaka, AKA Mafuzu Chef. Welcome to Hunger Are You. Today, I will be cooking for Charmaine Dagad. I don't know what I'm expecting here today, you know? I hear Serge be cooking up all kind of wild stuff. He hosts the talk show called The Breakfast Club in New York. So today, I will be cooking him a classic New York bacon, egg, and cheese with pig snow bacon. I'm about to cook these pigs now, and it's easy. You know my secret, baby. Salt and pepper. Let's go. So it's gonna take time, like 20 or 15 minutes. It's very sick. One for me and one for my guest. Next up, we have the eggs. I love some eggs. I'm gonna do it in Congo style. Learn from my Fuji chef. I learned to do this for my dad. Looking good. So I have to keep moving, you know, so I'm enjoying. All right, here we go, guys. Send him in. Yo. How you, King? You yeah, good? I'm good. How you doing, man? Blessings to Welcome, you, Welcome, bro. Thank yes, you for sir. coming, man. It don't smell like you cooking anything. No, don't worry. Well, you can't see what here. What's on the menu today? Today? Yeah. I got a surprise for you. Really? Can you help me to do uh, fruits here? I, I already did everything. You know, you, you have this to help me here. Did man. you wash these apples? We did, bro. It's clean. You didn't wash these apples. We clean. All the time. Hold on. That's what they do in restaurants. They don't even yeah, wash it off. They just put uh, it that's right how they be doing? They just put it right back and cut it. Why am I cutting up my own fruit plate, though? I thought I was a guest. You're a guest, but I want to see. I want to see your skills. I heard you love basketball. I do like basketball. Are you excited about the Knicks season this season? No, I'm not a Knicks fan. Knicks are trash. Why would I ever be a Knicks fan? You're in New York. No. I'm from but South Carolina. Someone told me he's a Knicks fan. No, nobody told you Come that Come on, guys. Lie. Nobody told you that lie. You, you assume Knicks that. Fans? You assume that because I'm in New York. Knicks suck. First of all, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. Grew up a Dallas Cowboy fan. Been a yeah. Dallas Cowboy fan my whole life. I'm saying all that to say yeah. I have suffered since the 90s with a losing franchise in football. Why would I do that in basketball? But I used to go to the Nets games when they, when they were in New Jersey. I've never been to a game in Brooklyn. But now you want to go because since they have KD and Kyrie. No, that's going to be a hype. Like, that, that, they're not gonna do nothing together. No? Nah, no. I think that their emotional IQs need to be higher in order for them to play together. Because what we've seen over the years from both of them is kind of two fragile personalities. Like, Kevin Durant had a burner account, you know what I mean? So he can tweet and say things about himself. Like, that shows a level of insecurity that I don't think that you can have if you're trying to lead a team on your on your own. I just think that him and him and Kyrie, just their emotional IQs you need know, to rise up. You know, people, we learn from our mistakes. Yes, you know, absolutely. I'm sure, I'm sure Katie learned from, from what he did. And then, like I said again, he only won two championships. By the way, Kyrie, he won one, two. Already. Yeah, but this is, this is New York. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. If you come in here weak-minded, if you come in here with thin skin, if you come in here worried about what people got to say about you, you're going to get eaten alive. Yeah. And those are two people who absolutely care what people think about them. So the only way that they're going to really be able to prosper in Brooklyn is if they take the attitude of somebody from Brooklyn and not give up. I'm sure they're prepared for it. They know. I hope I'm so. I'm sure they know. Because I'm a real big self-help guy. Mm -hmm. And one of my principles is um, live your truth so nobody can use your truth against you. And I call that the Eminem and 8 Mile theory. You seen Eminem and 8 Mile? No. You never seen Eminem and 8 Mile? No. Jesus Christ. Jordi. <laughs> you know, I'm a original man, so I come from pure place. So what's classic movies in, that, in, in the Congo? What's a classic you movie? Know, okay, classic movie. Uh, I used to watch uh, Scarface, Tony Montana. You know, Garbage. That? Garbage? Hate Garbage? It. No, come on, Hate man. It. That's my never favorite. liked it. Never liked why? it. Why? Tell me why. Because I never understood why black people, especially young black men, were so fascinated by uh, a, a Cuban coming to Florida and prospering off the drug game, especially when you had a Nino Brown. Like, I gravitated towards Nino Brown, New Jack City. You seen New Jack City? No. What the f***? Johnny. <laughs> what, man? Listen, and people used to have, they used to worship Scarface like he was a real person. They had Scarface on the wall, the posters and stuff. I the movie was good, that. bro. The movie was good. I never cared about it. Say hello to my little friend. I yeah. never, like, you couldn't you, kill him at the but end. But you know, it's just a movie, though. 
If that's what y'all was watching in the Congo, y'all had a terrible perception of Americans. <laughs> I guess that's why. Now, what do you think about the Raptors? The Toronto Raptors? You know what? I think you are jealous of Drake because he have a good team. No, he Just had one. a good team. No, 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 wait. Let me finish. <laughs> I think you're jealous of Drake because you're in New York and you don't you, you don't really know which team you have to support, Knicks or Nets. Like he have his own team and uh, his team just won a title. This, this year, he'll you be jealous of that? He'll be making sad rap love songs about the Raptors this year because that's how bad the Raptors are gonna be. Listen, I respect the energy Drake brings to the Toronto Raptors. Okay. Because when everybody was giving him flack about flack. being on the sidelines, yes, I was like, yo, that's dope. Like, you think about Jack Nicholson with the Lakers, like. He represents the new wave of that. Yeah. Just that he's a little more interactive, you know. And what he's saying? young too. He's gonna give the coach a little massage, you know what I mean? He's yeah. gonna dap up the players, like you know. And exactly, he's young. He's having a good time out there. And and and, and the culture of basketball is something that was new to Toronto. Yeah. So yo, they'll they'll never see that again. Why not? No, it ain't happening. You're, happen. You're not even gonna stick around. I'm still here. Yeah. When is your <laughs> When is your free agency? Serge? I got one more year, bro. Serge Ibaka, you're yeah. not staying. I'm staying. No, you're not. It's a lot that you could be doing, and you're not gonna be able to do it in Toronto. If you really be in Toronto, you know, you know Toronto, you would not say that. What? Because Toronto's the place, bro. It ain't L.A. It's I mean, not New York. If you're trying to like branch off into entertainment, Toronto's not the hot spot. Well, I'm done with playing so basketball. You're gonna retire in Toronto. You never know. Sorry, stop! <laughs> Why? Why are you telling that lie to the cameras and all they're gonna do is bring this footage back later when you leave in free agency? No, I'm just saying, you never know. Can I get some tickets if I wanna come to Toronto for yeah. a game or something? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna come support, like when y'all not good, when y'all good, it's hard to get tickets. No, we're gonna stick we, like, we're, we're gonna stick good. You think so? Yeah. Just watch. Hey man, I have no reason to doubt you. I believe in you, Serge. Okay. I may not believe in your ability to cook, yeah. but I believe <laughs> in your ability to play basketball. Oh, you right. telling me y'all gonna make the playoffs? Yeah, we're gonna play. Y'all could though. Y'all still got Kyle, y'all still got Kyle Lowry. Yeah. What's Pascal Siakam. Pascal. Pascal. The yeah, young guy. The big fella, Mark Gasol. Mark. Mark Gasol. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got. Uh, yeah, I can see y'all being maybe a seven c something like that. No. <laughs> what do you mean? In the East? We're top five, bro. Boston, Indiana, Milwaukee, Philly. Hmm. We top five, exactly. We top five. <laughs> All right. Okay. Top five. You might got a point. Nets might be the seventh AC. Oh, yeah, for the Nets, too. Yeah, but they don't got the Nets. Too. One thing I believe, we are top five, so we see. It's a shame that Kawhi said F it and left, but you know, it was a good, solid unit. Did that hurt your feelings when he left? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit because he was a friend of mine, mm -hmm. and uh, he was a great guy, great teammate great player, and then losing him, of course, hurt a little bit, but you know, you're not gonna be mad about someone who tried to go back home. Did you try to get him to stick around? Did y'all like have a team meeting, conversation, let's go out to eat? No, we already know, we already know like he wanted to go back home, you know. When oh, she... y'all knew that? Yeah, we all know that. So he told y'all that during the season? Like... I mean, like, but after we won the championship, you know, I thought like maybe he, he may change his mind, try to stay one more year, but yeah. yeah. Did he change his number on you? No. Oh, okay, okay. No. You caught a great meme, by the way. The, uh, what's up, baby? Yes, baby. Yeah, you what do you do, baby? baby? What do you do, baby? Yeah, you already know, baby. I'm here with Fun Guy. Where's tomorrow? Fun Guy, what's up, baby? What do you do, baby? Yeah, you already know. Hey. Can we try me, are you? Huh? Can we, can, let's try it. What do you mean? I'm gonna say, what's up, baby? Okay. Okay, and then you just... Why you wanna call me, baby? Come on. I mean, baby. Okay. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel better about it. You know, it's different. It's different. I'm yeah. saying, baby. You stretch the E. Yeah. Okay. So to make, okay, to make okay. that look different. Got you. you know? Stretch the E. I get it. Got you. You know, I'm so comfortable about what I just cooked for you. Okay. What'd you cook? I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. What'd you cook? Oh, it's coming. I don't like that. Why? I don't like mystery meat. No, don't worry. <laughs> Speaking of meat. Yeah. Sim, she would keep talking about you when you had on them gray sweatpants. Who? <laughs> yeah. She, her name is Sim. She, she worked at the radio station. Hi, Sam. Yeah. She was like, what? You're going to do what with Serge? You're go I, I love that show. You be on there cooking. You're a lot of women's man crush Monday. I guess I'm doing something good, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's crazy because I don't really know about all those things. Yeah, you full of This guy is so good. Let me tell you how good this guy is. That's how you get all of the women, by the way. Just play Clueless. No, no, I, I, exactly like. I never heard that before. You've dated superstars? So Let's um, not move on from your meat. Let's talk about you in those gray sweatpants. There's a lot of women about? out there that want to know, you okay, know what I mean? What, what is it about? Was that all you? Of course That's a wild right. question for me to be asking. It's exactly, it's a wild question, but guys, you didn't tell me he's like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why you guys didn't tell me? You guys didn't tell me all about that? 
I thought it was a nice guy, smile with books. They sell books. I was not prepared for this, bro. Definitely sell books. And your books, you say those things too? No. But I heard you talk about a lot of mental health. What is it important for you? Um, my second book was called Shook One. Anxiety playing tricks on me. I put that out last October. And, well, you know, I haven't been going to therapy to deal with my anxiety, you know, deal with my bouts of depression, you know, PTSD. And I was like, you know, maybe I can talk about that because nobody ever wants to talk about their vulnerabilities, their innermost darkest secrets. But I did. And uh, one thing I realized is going to a therapist helped me to understand the feelings I was feeling better, so I was able to explain them. And I feel like it's kind of helped elevate the conversation about mental health, especially in the black community. Yeah, that's important. Where I come from, if you ask somebody, you tell somebody to go see a therapist, they're gonna say, are you crazy? Yeah, You know, Same you think, here. are you crazy? Yeah. You know, but like, I'm glad you said that because I think it's important, we all need that. Especially black people, we think we're doing ourselves a favor, favor yeah. by keeping secrets. Secret, yeah. But we not, you gotta share those resources, man. So what's your, what's your next in your life? What's your, what's your next? I'm about to eat your food and get sick. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking is about to happen. I don't cook, I design food. You know what the difference is? You just, you just don't even care about none of the bullshit you spew on, <laughs> on this show today, huh? I, I know you you host the show. It's called Breakfast Club in New York. Yes. Yeah, so today I make you I made you a breakfast. What kind of breakfast? You should open. First. I feel like I'm about to be thoroughly disappointed in whatever this is. Exactly. This is a pig snow bacon egg sandwich with cheese. It's a classic breakfast. I don't eat pork. You don't no. eat pork at all? Nothing? No, no pork when, on my When pork. is the last time you had pork? Years, like like decades. Decade. De what do you call me a d That's not say, you say decade. Oh, yeah, you better off serving d I might have ate that. I'm not eating no pigs now. Okay, so <laughs> my guy just told me you eat pork. Nobody told you that. Marcus. Come here, please, Marcus. Marcus, you terrible researcher, you. <laughs> come here, come here. Well, you bring me over here? I'm not eating. You no, Marcus, researcher. Marcus. You told no. me he hit, he hit pork. Who told you that lie? No pork okay. on my fault. Don't do this to me. Wait, 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 No, no. Wait, that, this nose pork, you're gonna eat it because eat it took me, nose. it took me a lot of time to cook this. I had to fight you for this one. Okay, so you're gonna eat that pork. Get a good picture of that. Get a good picture. Get the boogers in that snout. Okay. Come on. Look, bite burger. into the meat. There you go. Bite oh. into that meat. There you go. Ooh. Bite oh. that snout. No, no, no. No, no, you did not bite the snout. You did not bite the snout. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. 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 Okay, you stay here. And I have to try it too. Huh? I have to try it. Mm. It's chewy. <laughs> Why this meal? Is this a delicacy in the Congo? We eat pork in Congo. Okay. Yeah, we eat pork. But pig snout? Pig snout, because, huh? Hello? Yeah, you can leave now, thank you. Good job. No, 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 no. you have to finish. No, uh-uh, not yet. Finish that. Yeah, share that. Why don't you cut exactly. it up in pieces? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Cut it up in pieces and share it with the crew. Okay, it's my turn now. You know, I never had it before. But one of the things about my show, I have to eat everything. You know what? You're lucky you don't eat pork. No. I give you that. I'm not gonna force you. You don't give a about your diet in the off season, huh? Oh, man. Bite into that snout, Serge. It's like bacon. No, this is not bacon, okay? But I'm, I'm, I'm go for it. Mmm. Mmm. God. So you don't like your own cooking? <laughs> you know if you don't like your own cooking, there's really no need to keep no, going. No, it's this not show. my cooking. No, no, no. The cook is good. The cheese is good. Just the the texture, right? The texture of the yeah. Think about all the stuff that comes out of your nose, and think about all the stuff that comes oh, out of come that pig nose. Bro. It's the same no, thing. No, no, no. And do you know why we don't eat pork? Because no, pigs no, no, no. eat anything. Pigs eat their own. Bro, oh, 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 okay, I'm done here today. No, you can't be it done. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. your show. I want to do. You cook that. Okay, we're done here today. If you today. don't like your own cooking, <laughs> there's no need to carry on it. this show at all. We're done. We're done today. That was good. Sir, it was a pleasure, man. My man. Thank you for having me, man. No, man, it's my pleasure, bro. You got to come back again. And for next one, I need to cook you something you can eat. Are uh, y'all going to do your research next time? Yeah, I should have had pork like 20 years ago. No. <laughs> I know you do a lot of interview. You've been doing that for so long. Yeah. Any tips? Yeah, man. My biggest tip I'll give you is don't quit your day job. <laughs>